Sometimes the veil can be very thin. Oh, I love it. Do you recognize it? The Forgotten Carols. It's a tradition for so many of you. And it is going to be back on stage this year, which I know every single one of us are so excited about. Well, we have the actor, the writer, the director, the everything, the man, Mr. Michael McLean in studio with me. Hi, Michael. Good to see you. It, it's good to see you. I was just thinking if the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter makes you feel old. Then yours will make the you feel older. The <laughs> 30th anniversary of the Forgotten Carols must make you feel ancient. ancient. <laughs> you said it. Can you believe you've been doing this for 30 years? Mm. I yes, can't no? believe I've been doing it for 30 years. Well, well, in 29 amazing years, and now you have some big news because you're actually going to pass the baton to another Uncle John. Well, and I'm right in the middle of rehearsals right now as we get ready for our shows, and we're working with my friend of nearly 50 years, who's an Emmy Award winning actor, friend, brilliant. And when he got out of the car, because he's been staying with us while we're rehearsing, my wife looked at him and said, Uncle John. Wow. <laughs> it's perfect. And I get, to, I get to be in the show playing all the fun stuff I love to do, which is narrating mm -hmm. and filling in with some fun parts and singing at the end and just telling the story. But the heavy lifting of being this, and I, I saw him do this years ago in Atlanta. Okay. And I said, if word gets out how good he is, I'm going to be out of a job. <laughs> no. I mean, he, he's really sensational. The other folks in the cast, you've known, those of you who've been coming for years will recognize and be thrilled to see them again. But I just, I, I have missed you. I have missed we've, seeing we've and missed being in the same room and can't wait. Well, I think we're all excited about it. So tell, uh, for those that are, you know, a lot of Utahns know the Forgotten Carols, but there are some people out there who don't know. Tell us about the story. Well, this is a, 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 about a crazy old man who thinks he's John the Beloved, and he um, is kind of losing it. And um, he just is directed to kind of the, he just follows his heart, and he's led to a nurse named Connie Lou, Constance Louise Chamberlain, and in the sharing of his life and his remembrances, he claims that he met the innkeeper who turned away Joseph and Mary. He's convinced he knew one of the shepherds that fell asleep and missed the first. I mean, he shares these carols, these forgotten carols, with this nurse. And each one of them has a way of helping her find the heart of Christmas and helping her find what she's missed for so many years. Which I think goes along with some people out there who, you know, they might need that little bit of crazy to help them feel a little Christmas spirit out there. Now, you're going to be back on stage, so how can we get tickets? When's the show? Give us all the details. Well, uh, ForgottenCarols.com is where you can get the tickets, and we're going to be uh, in Tooele on the 29th, I think. And then we're going to do a big show at the UVU, um, UCCU Arena on the 13th, and then the 15th through the 20th, 20th? yeah yep. we're we've gonna, got it on screen oh it's on the too. thing yeah um on the 15th through the 20th at cottonwood which will be great and then we take a, a a day off for me to breathe deeply and then we get to do the final show at the d event center so show up in mass and we'll have a a, a kind of a reunion of sorts and um i i really am i i'm kind of twitter pated in excitement to aren't go. we all I mean, you and I did a couple Zooms last year, Michael, and and I watched uh, the virtual. I did, but yes. it would it it's amazing. But there's something about the live energy, isn't there? Just being in a room together. You know, I am I am so thrilled that the film turned out as well as it did. It did. It was amazing. And <laughs> during COVID, when nothing was in movie theaters. We were the number 10 movie in the hey, country. Hey, congratulations. So, um, I don't have to compete with Marvel or uh, Pixar. But <laughs> this time, we're taking the essence of what we captured in the film, because we love that script so much, tweaking it a little bit. And there will be some new surprises beyond Michael Young, okay. some new songs. Just come. I miss you. Come. Well, and it's good to have you back in studio. It's been far too long since we have seen you, in person at least for me. So, uh, Michael, great to see you. Great to have you uh, here again. And I'm excited to see, you know, Michael Young take on the lead. It'll be a, a fun new way to kick it off for the 30th anniversary. 
So thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Jenny.